If you are constantly monitoring your crypto wallet or hoping for a miracle to break even on your Tesla stocks, we've got the perfect video for you. Join us as we discover the better performer during a recession, cryptocurrencies or traditional stocks. Meet John, a young man with a great job and diversified portfolio in stocks and crypto. He saved as much as he could and invested his money in both stocks and crypto like Bitcoin, Shiba Inu and Ripple, which he felt pretty confident about. But when the recession hit, with both markets tumbling, all of his investments were in jeopardy. And he couldn't help but wonder which investment came out in profit. Would it be the traditional tried and true stocks or the flashy and futuristic crypto? John was determined to weather the storm and come out on top. He spent long hours researching the markets and making some bold and risky moves. The question is, did John's strategy pay off? Did he make money from stocks, crypto or both? Or did he lose it all? If you're curious to know which investment paid off, then keep watching. The results might surprise you. Ok, let's break this down in relatable terms. So, imagine you're in a tough spot, financially speaking when you're not making as much money as you used to and you're starting to cut back on some of your expenses, the crypto and stock market crashes, people are losing their life savings and the economy is thrown into chaos. Now, multiply that by a whole bunch of people, businesses and entire countries. That's what we call a recession. A time when the economy is in a slump and everyone is feeling the pinch. It's like a financial hangover, but instead of too much alcohol, it's too much debt and overspending. Let's start with a short description about both crypto and stock. Crypto. Think of it like a digital treasure, a kind of money that only exists online. It's like virtual gold, but instead of digging it up, you mine it with fancy computers. And just like real gold, its value can go up or down faster than a roller coaster. Now, stocks are a little bit different. They're like tiny pieces of ownership in big company. You know how you can buy a slice of pizza instead of a whole pie? Same idea but with businesses. And just like how the quality of a pizza affects how much people are willing to pay for it, the value of a company can go up or down depending on how well it's doing. Some of the differences between crypto and stocks. Crypto is like a wild roller coaster ride, while stocks are like a leisurely bike ride in the park. Crypto prices can fluctuate wildly in a matter of minutes, while stocks tend to be more on the stable side and predictable over time. Investing in crypto is like betting on your future, while investing in stocks is like betting on the past. Crypto investments are based on the potential for the new technologies and innovations, while stocks are based on the historical performance of established companies. Crypto is like a rebel without a cause, while stocks are like a dependable friend. Crypto is a relatively new and unregulated investment space while stocks have been around for centuries and are backed by established regulations and institutions. Investing in crypto is like exploring uncharted territory, while investing in stocks is like sticking to a well-worn path. Crypto investments can lead to huge rewards, but they also come with greater risk, while stocks offer a more predictable return but may not have the same potential for massive gains. And some similarities between them. Both crypto and stocks can provide opportunities for growth. Just like planting a seed into fertile soil can result in a beautiful harvest, Investing in crypto or stocks with potential can yield significant returns in the long run. Both crypto and stocks require a level of risk. Just as you need to take a leap of faith when trying something new, investing in crypto or stocks involves risk-taking and there is always a possibility of losing money. Both crypto and stocks can experience volatility, just as weather patterns can be unpredictable, market conditions can be volatile and fluctuate rapidly based on various factors such as news, market sentiment and economic conditions. Both crypto and stocks can benefit from diversification. Just as a garden with a variety of plants can provide more benefits than a single plant, investing in a diversified portfolio of crypto or stocks can help reduce risk and exposure to any one company or token. So how does crypto react during a recession? Ah, the million dollar question. Well, let me tell you, when a recession hits, crypto can be as unpredictable as a cat on a hot tin roof. One day it might be soaring like a majestic eagle and next it's plummeting like a lead balloon. Why does this happen? It's simple. People start panicking and selling off their crypto. 
it's like going out of style. The flood of sellers can cause the value to drop faster than a hot potato. But don't be too quick to write off crypto just yet. Some people believe that it's a safe haven during times of economic uncertainty. They see it as digital gold, something that can retain its value even when everything else is in the red. But one thing is for sure, if you're gonna invest in crypto during a recession, you better hold on tight and be ready for a wild ride. How do stocks react during a recession? Picture this. You're at the party having a great time, when suddenly the music stops and the lights go out. That's the kind of thing that happens to stocks during a recession. The party comes to a screeching halt and the guests start to panic. Basically, stocks get the hiccups during a recession. They start to hiccup down and it feels like they just can't stop. Investors start to sell off their stocks, trying to get out before things get worse. And just like that, the value of stocks can plummet faster than a stone in a pond. It's a tough time for stocks, but it's not all bad news. Some stocks can actually do pretty well during a recession, especially those that provide essential goods and services, like food and medicine. So it's not all doom and gloom, but it's definitely a bumpy ride for those who invest in the stock market. So which one is better, crypto or stocks? It's like asking which is better, pizza or tacos? The answer is subjective, but we will do our best to break it down for you. When it comes to investing in a recession, the type of investor you are can have a significant impact on the choices you make. Some investors are more conservative and prefer to stick with traditional tried and true investments like stocks, and others are more adventurous and are willing to take a chance on newer, more untested investments like cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum are often seen as a hedge against inflation because they are decentralized and not tied to any government or central authority. However, they can be volatile and speculative, and their value can fluctuate wildly in response to market news and sentiment. If you are interested in investing in cryptocurrencies, it's important to do your research and understand the technology, risk and potential rewards. You may also want to consider investing in a diversified portfolio of cryptocurrencies rather than putting all of your eggs in one basket. Stocks can be a good investment for those who have a longer investment horizon and are willing to weather the short-term market fluctuations. On the other hand, stocks can also be affected by economic factors, but their performance is typically tied to the underlying companies and their financial results. During a recession, some industries may perform better than others and individual stocks may have different levels of risk and potential for returns. Historically, the stock market has always rebounded after a downturn, and patient investors who stick with their investments can reap the benefit of a long-term growth. You may want to consider investing in a diversified portfolio of stocks across different sectors and industries. This can help reduce risk and exposure to any one company or sector. Ultimately, the decision to invest in cryptocurrencies or stocks during a recession should be based on an individual's investment goals, risk tolerance and overall financial situation. In the end, whether you choose to invest in stocks or crypto during the recession, one thing is certain. Having a solid investment strategy and a clear understanding of your goals and risk tolerance can help you weather the storm and come out on top. If you want to learn how to live up your investments, click on this video and get those dividend stocks as soon as you can. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know what's your opinion in the comment section.